So in today's short video, it's kind of a second part to the one I did earlier this week. So if you didn't see that one, um, you can go back and watch that too. Um, but I just want to talk again about um, the link between your insulin levels and your ability to lose weight and how what you can do to lower your insulin levels. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle Clay. I'm a family nurse practitioner and I help patients to lose weight, um, offering prescription um, injections for weight loss um, and then support and just optimizing their health and well-being. Okay, so we went over this in the other video, but just to kind of review, common symptoms if your insulin levels are elevated because it's not a lab work that most providers um, routinely check. So unless you ask for it, um, probably you, you have not had one of these done. Um, so it's increased hunger and cravings, kind of like you just are, can never get full. Uh, a stubborn weight gain or really the inability to lose weight. No matter what you try, no matter how well you follow a diet, you can do it perfectly and the scale does not budge. That's, that's really a sign. It's probably um, related to your uh, insulin levels. Um, fatigue and energy crashes. Uh, frequent urination and thirst, and then dark skin. Uh, you, it just looks like your skin's kind of dirty. It's usually on the creases of your neck or in your armpits is where most people see that. And you don't have to have all of those to have elevated insulin levels. Just like most things, you know, you never have all of the symptoms, but you probably would have a few of those that, that might ring true for you to, to um, indicate that you could have elevated insulin levels. Okay, so what can you do to lower it? Um, it's it's not um, impossible for sure. So one is to do um, intermittent fasting. Uh, it improves your body's sensitivity to insulin. Usually as we, our body keeps dumping insulin, our body starts to just ignore it. And then our body has to dump more to for the same response. So by extending the periods between eating, it allows your insulin levels to come down and your body becomes sensitive to it again. It also helps your body uh, utilize your glucose, get it into the cell more efficiently so it can convert it into energy. And intermittent fasting also um, imp it causes a process called autophagy to happen. And autophagy is very great for your health. It basically is your body's internal cleanup system. And it can go around and get rid of cells that are not functioning optimally. So um, that's always a good thing. And when we don't have some periods of fasting, we our body is using resources on digestion instead, and it can't really get to um, routine maintenance, so to speak. So uh, intermittent fasting helps with that as well. Um, then just having a balanced diet, um, having plenty of protein, healthy fats, um, foods that are low on the glycemic index. And the glycemic index, it's not really uh, talked about a lot, uh, but basically it's the, when you eat a food, what does it cause your glucose to do? Um, if something, let's say you eat a bowl of cereal, um, Lucky Charms, my favorite. Uh, that's just going to bump your glucose levels really high. Uh, if you eat something, um, a steak, for instance, uh, it's going to have very little impact on your glucose levels. So that's a lower glycemic index. And you should be able to Google most foods and see um, where they fall on that scale. So eating foods that are low on that scale will keep your glucose levels from really rising and that's going to overall help lower your insulin levels because if your glucose is high, your body has to dump insulin to process that. Um, exercise is uh, very important uh, for lowering your insulin levels. Uh, getting good sleep is also very helpful for uh, lowering your insulin levels as well. Most of us are deficient, um, so it really is important to prioritize sleep. Uh, reducing stress uh, is also helpful um, in lowering your your levels and then drinking plenty of water. Most of us are chronically dehydrated um, and simply don't get enough water. And when you're dehydrated, it impacts your glucose levels and therefore your, your insulin levels. So all of those things um, are ways that you can uh, help to lower your insulin levels. 
So that's all for this short video. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out. Um, like I posted in the other video, I did write an ebook about this that goes into detail about elevated insulin levels and what you can do to reduce those and the link between that and your weight. And I'll put a link to it again below in the comments.